This is the Insta360 X3, and in this video, we're gonna shoot an awesome time lapse and turn it into a hyperlapse. So the first thing we're gonna do is attach the X3 to this Gorillapod Mini. Awesome little tripod, link in description. Next, we're gonna put it in time lapse mode. And then I'm just going to sit it down on the floor like this, right in front of the Arc de Triomphe in the middle of the Champs Elysees, and we're going to shoot a quick time lapse. Okay, once we've finished recording, we're going to connect the X3 to the mobile app. We're going to tap album, and we're going to select the clip we just shot. Now we can tell it's the right clip because it's got a little time symbol in the bottom left here. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is change the aspect ratio. So we're gonna tap on the little white square there, and choose 16 by nine. Now we're gonna go into edit mode, tap edit there. So I'm gonna position the Arc de Triomphe on that rule of thirds grid line right in the center there. And now at the beginning of the clip, I'm going to move it along to the edge of the screen like this, using that center line as a guide. I'm going to tap to add a keyframe, and then I'm going to move along to the end of the clip and move it to the other side of the frame, again using that center line as a guide. So that will play through like this with a nice smooth panning motion as the time lapse plays. Now, when we're finished editing, all we need to do is hit export, make sure we're on maximum bitrate and that will export straight to our photos. Now, because all the editing in the Insta360 app is non-destructive, we can go back into that clip, delete those keyframes, and do something else with it. So what I'm gonna do now is, at the beginning of the clip, I'm gonna use those little crosshairs to get the Art de Triumph right in the center, and I'm gonna zoom in like this. Tap to add a keyframe, and then I'm gonna to move to the end of the clip and zoom right out. And again, I'm gonna use that little crosshair to center the Art of Triumph like this. Tap to add another keyframe. So now we've got a time lapse with a really cool zoom out. And again, just hit export, maximum bit rate, and that'll export straight to our photos. So the end result of those two edits looks like this. So if you want to grab an X3 for yourself, there's a link in the description where you can get one at the best price with super fast delivery. Thanks for watching. See you next time.